Hi, and welcome to another episode of Stephen Hellick Talks Tech. Today, I'm not in my home office, but I'm here in my work office to use this, a whiteboard. This is something I used to use quite a bit with my colleagues prior to the pandemic. We would be in the office and we would be drawing architectures or throwing ideas up and talking through things over a physical whiteboard. But a lot's changed in the last two years and one of those things that's changed is that I actually work in a globally distributed team. So even if I wanted to, I wouldn't be able to collaborate with all my colleagues around a physical whiteboard. However, Microsoft Teams over the last two years has really improved and has a new feature that allows you to draw out the content on a physical whiteboard for virtual attendees. So today I'm gonna to show you how as a presenter, you can enable this feature and what it looks like when you're a virtual attendee. Okay, let me quickly walk you through the setup I have here in the room. And you see this uh, desk clamp along with an external webcam mounted to it. This isn't necessary for the setup. I'm using it so that way I can get a better angle to the whiteboard, but you can certainly just have your laptop screen pointed at it or your laptop front facing camera pointed at it with the screen tilted and you should just be fine. In addition, I have two laptops here. This laptop is gonna be used as my presenter device and this is just mimicking a virtual attendee. Once again, you don't need two laptops. You really just need a device that you can uh, point at the whiteboard. And I'm gonna show you how in here you can go into Teams and turn this feature on. And I'll also show you how the virtual attendee, what it looks like for them as they're connecting in. All right, so I'm sitting here in front of the host machine and I have over here the virtual attendee machine. So you should see both of them. And in the host machine, I'm gonna go in and share the whiteboard for the first time. So when you go to share content, most people focus on sharing either their screen or a specific window. But Teams actually has this feature called content from camera. Now you're gonna initially see Microsoft whiteboard and think, oh, that's the feature I need to click. But all that really does is share a virtual whiteboard. And that's great, the virtual whiteboard in Teams is fantastic but content from camera actually gives you some additional options and one of those is a physical whiteboard so when I click on this what you'll notice is it pops up a little message I'm gonna say got it and it's gonna scan the room for a whiteboard now initially it's using my front-facing camera but I'm gonna switch it to the external webcam here and it's detecting the edges of a whiteboard it's changing the angle pulling it forward and it actually uh, kind of fades the background as well. And so once we do that, we can hit share and we'll see that this will be now shared with the virtual attendee. So next, I'm gonna get up in front of the whiteboard and show you what it looks like when we start writing. So I'm standing in front of the whiteboard and probably one of the first things you'll notice is that I look a little different and you'll see why in a moment. I'm gonna write a couple letters up on the board and what you're gonna see is teams will start to pop that information out for a virtual audience. So I'm just gonna write up here A, B, C, and underline it. And you'll see as I'm writing, Teams is detecting the information using AI and it's starting to bring that information forward. It's also capturing the color of the information that I'm writing. So if I was to go under here and write one, two, three, you'll see that it's picking up the red and the green, which is really neat. Not only that, but as you can see, if I walk in front of it, I am transparent in comparison to the content. I'm actually behind the content. So if I was to move my hand in front of it, you're seeing the Teams is picking up uh, me, making me transparent, picking up the content and putting it in front of my hand. And that's really amazing if you're connected virtually. Most of the times when, we, when I tried to do this prior to the pandemic, pointing a laptop screen at a whiteboard, the content was very washed out and really difficult for those who are connected virtually to understand. They didn't really feel as connected to the meeting. Now in December, I actually ran two two-hour meetings using this feature and I was able to really collaborate with my colleagues who are distributed globally. So that feature is fantastic. I love that it's pulling the content out, that it's making the attendees transparent. You can have multiple people at this whiteboard and it will detect those uh, both folks and it will make both people transparent as they move in front of the content, which is awesome. The next thing I'm gonna show you is how you can use Teams after the fact to grab a screen cap of the content so that way you can share it post meeting. So I'm back here at the presenter machine and there's a couple different options here. There's an option to turn off overlaying the presenter and then there's another option to capture a snapshot. And that's the option I will use to capture a, a screenshot of the whiteboard. So when you click that, it will capture a snapshot and it'll actually throw it in the chat window of the meeting for you to send to the other, the other attendees of the meeting. So you'll see it captured the content and it shared that image. 
In addition, if you need to uh, reset up the whiteboard, maybe it didn't detect the edges properly, you can click that settings icon and there's a couple options in here. It'll allow you to change camera, it'll allow you to change the content type. You can scan again if you need it to detect other parts of the whiteboard. You can even hit this button to don't detect edges, which I'm not really sure why you would do that. I think that's probably one of the best features here. Uh, you can rotate the whiteboard, say it captured it upside down for some reason, or you had a whiteboard that was vertical and it was putting it horizontally, you could do that. And then the don't overlay presenter option is here as well. So those are the key features and settings for this inside the Teams meeting. Thanks again for joining me here on Stephen Heller Talks Tech. I hope you enjoyed that look at how you can use Microsoft Teams to really bring the content from a physical whiteboard and make it accessible to a hybrid audience, to those really connected in virtually. We love hearing from you, so please leave a comment below, give us a like, a subscribe, and a share. Thanks, bye. Thank you.